We're going to start with your hometown. There's a lot of <laughs> yes, snow there this morning. Indeed. Yeah, people are getting pummeled because this relentless snowstorm is now blamed for five deaths around Buffalo, New York. This solid wall of clouds just south of Buffalo shows the power of that lake effect storm. Some areas could see up to 100 inches of snow by this weekend. I thought you were missing a zero or something. That's a lot of snow this morning. Hundreds of thousands of people are struggling to get out of their homes and clear the streets and sidewalks. Some of them spent two nights stuck in their cars. Jerika Duncan is in West Seneca, New York. That's just outside of Buffalo. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. As you can tell by this snow, we are in one of the towns hit hardest by that lake effect snow. Now on our way here, we passed several dozens, in fact, of abandoned vehicles and Western New Yorkers are not out of the woods. This is just the beginning. Blinding lake effect snow squalls and gusting winds pummeled parts of Buffalo, New York and surrounding areas on Tuesday, dumping more than five feet of snow in some spots falling at rates of up to five inches an hour. This time-lapse video shows a wall of heavy snow advancing toward the city. The snow began piling up early Tuesday, burying people in their homes and leaving drivers stranded along stretches of roadway. Close to 150 cars were stuck on a four-mile stretch of the New York State Thruway. And six miles south of Buffalo, the Niagara women's basketball team was trapped on their bus for over 24 hours. We're stressing the people do not drive unless you absolutely have to. We've seen multiple people that had no reason to be out that are now either stranded in their car, injured. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo issued a state of emergency in 10 counties. First responders scrambled to assist as many people as they could, but near whiteout conditions brought deadly consequences. Sadly, uh, we have to announce we found on, on individual today a uh, 46 year old male in the yeah. town of Alden. Um, the car was buried under approximately uh, 12 to 15 feet of snow, and uh, he was found uh, deceased. Clearing a path under these conditions is even stopping snowplow drivers in their tracks. Plows can no longer plow the snow. There's so much snow, it's basically like plowing a brick wall. Now, early this morning, uh, the snow was just coming down so fast and so heavy that you could. You could not see in front of you, as you can see right now, though the snow is starting to taper off, uh, and this is expected to continue throughout today. But by late tonight, another round of lake effect snow will target those areas that have already been hit the hardest. Jeff? All right, Tarika, thank you very much.